Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Bearable IT. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about join reports in Salesforce using the Lightning interface. Before we get started, I want to caution that join reports can be very confusing and can take some time to grasp the concept. But just give it some time, have some patience, and you will catch on. So you start by clicking on New Report, just like any report. And when you're choosing your first report type, you have to understand what objects you're going to be working with. So I'm going to be answering the simple question of how many opportunities and how many cases does each account in my Salesforce org have? And I know that cases are children of the account. And I know that opportunities are children of the account. And so I'm going to go ahead and start with cases. I could start with the account, but that's not necessary because both my case and my account reference, sorry, my case and my opportunity reference the account object and I'm going to be able to join them together on the account and then reference the account fields anyway. So here I am with my new cases report. I'm going to immediately go to the filters, make sure that there's no unwanted filters. Then come back here and remove some of the fields that I don't want. There we go. Now to join, to turn this into a join report, you're going to come over to the report label up here and press the little down arrow and press join report. Now you can add a second block or even a third block afterwards. So I'm going to first add the opportunity block. And then once that's added, I'm going to clean up some of the fields that I don't want, just so that this report becomes a little easier to read. You always want to get rid of the unwanted fields in all of your reports, just to keep it simple. And I will say, when it comes to join reports, um, they can be a little bit s slower than regular reports, especially if you have heavy volume. So just keep that in mind. If it, it goes really, really slow and becomes unusable, consider exporting, to them, expo exporting them to Excel and doing a VLOOKUP, because I have seen that in the past. All right, and so now I'm going to group them by the account name since they both have the account name. And now I've got my joined report. I can see that Express Logistics has three cases and no opportunities. And I can see that Dickinson has one opportunity and no cases. We're going to add some visual to this by adding a chart. I'm going to do the column chart, and we're already counting the number of cases. Let's go ahead and add a second measure and count the number of opportunities, which it's doing right here. Now, before you run the report, make sure to double check the filters because you could have unwanted filters like this one right here. And then you can go ahead and save and run. And just like that, we've got a nice little graph that's illustrating how many cases and opportunities each of our accounts have. I'm going to show you one final trick and then we'll close out. So on my cases block, I'm going to add a cross block summary formula. This is different from the regular summary formula in that it's going to let me reference fields between both of the blocks. For example, I can do opportunities plus cases. And this is going to give me the total number of both cases and opportunities for each of the accounts. So here's my record count for cases. 
plus my record count for the opportunities. And now you can see for Burlington Textiles, it's just counting up one right here for this new formula field. Dickinson's has one. Edge Communications has six because it has three cases and three opportunities. And then if you wanted to, you could come reference it in your chart. I will caution finally that these are slightly difficult to work with in dashboards because filters in dashboards don't apply to them and it can be a little challenging in general. They're just not as flexible as regular Salesforce reports, so keep that in mind. That's all my high-level information on joint reports. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. Comment below on things you think I can do to improve or just other topics you'd like to hear. And uh, thanks for watching.